rule, wild fires in Sardinia are really a new thing. Uh, there were very few fires of any size until last year when there was an extremely large fire in the vicinity of Oristano and that uh, was the biggest brush fire there's ever been in Italy. It resulted in the death of over 30 million bees, a thousand people had to move home, 20,000 hectares of forest were destroyed. And, you know, this is obviously increasing in frequency now with the temperature rises that we're seeing across the planet. So we've been working with a partner at Vodafone uh, called Dryad. Uh, Dryad do ultra early detection of forest fires using IoT smart sensors, which we put in the trees that connect the forest together that allow us to do ultra early detection of forest fires during the smouldering phase. And so what we do is present that data to the customer in near real time, making sure that they're able to see the early detection of forest fires, along with the data about the environment and everything that's happening in the local area. That allows the customer to see and make proactive decisions about what they should do. And once all of those sensors are connected, you can kind of think of that as a forest that starts to think for itself. This is a huge challenge. We are starting together with Extreme E in an area of three hectares, but our scope in the, in the forthcoming years is to reach the target of 50 hectares fully recovered. So we're really hoping to see that story of how technology can really help play a part of the solution and how our ecosystem of our partner, us as a series, and the fact we're working with such a reputable, incredible NGO who understand this issue in Sardinia uh, to hopefully have a long-lasting impact that we can all be proud of. Climate change should not just be a, an academic topic. It should be the, let's say, it should enter in everyday life of everyone. They should, like, at lunch, at dinner, discuss climate change and try to mitigate and also try to adapt to him because climate change is now. Mama.